Hello class, welcome to a room 222 Photoshop tutorial. Today's project is the chalk project. We will be creating illustrations out of chalk. So for example, I have used the Anthem uh, logo and I made it into chalk. And that's what you'll be doing today as well. So let's minimize this. We're going to pull up Photoshop. And we are going to open up one of the different options of a chalkboard. I have four different ones. I'm going to use the first one. Click open. And then you're going to pull up your image and the logo that you want. So for the first project, you're going to do words. So I'm going to pull up my person that I have saved as a PNG because I'm going to attach her. And then I am also going to pull up Anthem's logo. So I'm going to make Anthem's logo a PNG first. So to, by doing that, I'm going to go to the Magic Eraser tool and I am going to apply that, oops. There we go. To my image. And then I'm going to click and drag and move it onto my chalkboard image. I'm also going to move my exercise woman onto my chalkboard image. That was previously a JPEG, and then I created her into a PNG so she could be moved over nice and easy. I'm going to use the transfer tool, and I'm going, or transform tool, control T, holding down my shift key, and I'm going to change the measurements for all of these so that way they fit in the picture very nicely. There we go. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a chalk preset. Chalk brush preset. So I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm going to go up to window and I'm going to select brush. And I'm going to click on my brush tool. So now I'm going to start with just a regular brush. And I'm going to change these. So we're going to start with brush tip shape. And the brush tip shape, oh, make sure also that your colors are black and white. And to do that, you click D on your keyboard for default black and white, and then to switch them. So the white is in the foreground, you're going to click X. So beginning with brush tip shape at our top here, we're going to click here, and we're going to just make this a little bit less of a perfect circle. We're going to bring up the hardness to uh, around 50%. And then the spacing should be between 5 and 12%, depending on what it is that you might like. And we might go back to that. Next, we're going to go to Shape Dynamics. Size jitter is going to be up close to 100%. Control is off. Minimum diameter should be around 35%. Angle jitter is anywhere between 60 and 80%. Roundness jitter is around 30%. Control is off. Minimum roundness should be close to 0%. And as you play with these, you can see that this changes. Next, we're going to go to scattering. Scattering should be around 45%. If you want it to be really scattered, bring it up to here. If you don't want it to be hardly scattered, you bring it down. 
So again, ours is around 45%. Count is 1. Count jitter is 0. Control is off. Next, we're going to click Transfer. Opacity jitter should be around 50%. Again, see how it changes. Flow jitter should be around 35%. And then control is off. I also would suggest having your smoothing tool clicked. This will help. And so then when you draw, it's going to look like chalk. If you want to play around with some of these uh, different types of sets, presets, um, options, go for it. If you want something to look a little bit different, that is what this, these are here for. But this is going to be a generic chalk looking brush. When you are done, you're going to click on this button here and we're going to click new brush preset and we're going to name it chalk. So I'm going to name it chalk 2. And then say OK. Next, we're going to make our PNG image into chalk. So we're going to make this visible, which it already is. And then we're going to select channels, which is next to layers. Now we're going to, so if you click on these, they adjust to different shadows and highlights of your image. It does not matter which one you pick. I'm going to select the green one. Just because my original image here doesn't have green in it. That's my only reasoning. So I'm going to use the green option and I'm going to make a copy of it. To do that you're going to click and you're going to drag down over the new layer icon and it creates a green copy. Next you're going to do, you're going to bring up levels which is control L and we are going to make this image as stark black and white as we can. And to do that, we're going to click and drag these gray and white pieces closer together so it creates a very stark black and white image. Once you've gotten your stark black and white image, you're going to click OK. And then we are going to create a selection of this image here. And to do that, you're going to hold down control and you're going to select the icon. And it's going to pull up a selection. Now, if we would go up to layer 3, which is basically a blank layer at this point in time, and if we would color over this, it would only s color the opposite of what we want. So we want it to be in the selection but right now it's selecting the opposite. So if you do control Z it'll take that away and what we're going to do is go to select and we're going to do inverse select and now it'll go in your selection. So in the case of mine and it could be the case of yours this area here I believe is slightly selected which is why you see a faint chalk mark but we'll be able to fix that. Make sure your opacity is up as well. If you want to bring your opacity down a little bit, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but if you have it up to 100%, it should look fine. So next, we need to get rid of all of these selections except for what we want to color in. And to do that, you're going to click on the Marquee tool, Rectangular tool, and we're going to hold down Alt and then we're just going to click and drag. If you let go of Alt and do this, it will delete everything. So don't let go of Alt. As you can see, I let go of Alt when I clicked and it got rid of everything. But to bring it back, I just did Control Z and it took it a step backwards. I'm using control plus to zoom in. I can leave control of alt 
while I do that, but then make sure I click down Alt before I start selecting again. Okay, so now I have everything deselected that I want to, except for Anthem and the logo. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on Path. And I'm going to select this target button down here and it's going to create a work path. And if you can see there, it looks like that there's like a pen path over these words, which is what I want. So then next, we're going to make a new layer. And we are going to go back to paths, right click, and click stroke path. We're going to make sure the tool is set to brush. And you can do simulate pressure or not. It doesn't really matter. And then click OK. So, ne so now, if your image looks like this or something similar, it just looks bad, what we can do is do Control Z. And what I need to do is just make my brush smaller. So I'm going to click on my brush tool. And I'm going to bring it down a lot to like 10. And now I'm going to try it again right click, stroke path, say OK. There, it looks so much better. It looks like chalk. OK, so now I have this. We're going to go back to layers. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw in this here so that way it looks more complete. So to do that, I do Control plus to zoom in. Make sure I'm on layer 4. And I'm just going to trace it. There we go, and then when we zoom out, control zero to scale the frame size, we have our image. So right now, layer three doesn't have anything, so I'm just going to get rid of this layer. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go up to, I'm going to make sure that I'm on my chalk layer, and I'm going to go to filter, and I'm going to click blur, Gaussian blur, and I want this to be about one and it's going to make it fuzzy. I'm going to go dub right or double click on here. And I'm going to go to outer glow. And I'm going to make sure blend mode is on screen. I'm going to click here and I'm going to change it to like a soft glow. Pastel yellow. And then I'm going to lower the opacity down to roughly anywhere between 15 and 20% makes it bleed a little bit. And then I'm going to click OK. OK. And as you can see, a little briefly here, that you can still see the path that we created. So to get rid of that, we're going to go to Paths, and we're going to right click, and we're going to do Delete Path. And now it's gone. And then this is how you create an image out of chalk. And if you want to, you feel daring, you want to try writing with your brush, you may do that. When you are finished, you're going to go to File, Save As. You're going to save it as a JPEG, and you're going to save it to your finished folder under Chalk Image. You are going to create your own choice word chalk and then you're going to create a choice subject or object chalk so a person a car a tree something that is not a word and then your first one has to be or has to include a word so it could be similar to Anthem with the logo, whatever it is that you might want to do. If you have any questions, as always, raise your hand. Off you go.